Okay, so my package got here early, everybody. Now, everybody does these unboxing videos. I'm not trying to be an internet guy like that. But I'm really excited about these paints, everybody. I, I really am, guys. And I just, I, I, I've been talking about them with everybody for so long. I just wanted to share the unboxing of them. Just picked it up. Wasn't even supposed to be here till this afternoon. I love it. So first, we will go with the Black 3.0. I'm not even going to comment on the bubble wrap and stuff, even though that is really, really awful. It really is that they take that kind of care. And the packaging is, uh, I'm sorry, but I feel like a kid. I really do. I mean, it's an amazing presentation. It really is. It's, you can't really see, uh, well, I guess you can. It shows you just how black it is. And then inside is black 3.0. It's actually a little bigger than I thought it was going to be. And because I know me and I know I'm a little psychotic. Brown paper. <laughs> I'm a little psychotic when it comes to these things. I think mom dropped me on my head a few too many. Or my brother threw me around a little too much. It, it knocked some sense out of me. So I do really crazy things with paint. <laughs> More bubble wrap. Yay, the kids will have fun. No, my kid and I will. <laughs> More packaging. Yeah. I gotta say, you know, to the Stuart Simple gang, you guys at Culture Hustle, if you guys come across this video at all, seriously killing it just on packaging alone i mean really just on the packaging alone i mean it may seem like nothing to a lot of people but if you've ever bought art supplies you know exactly what i'm talking about with the packaging so many times you get them and it's no packaging at all it's just substandard and it really lets you know how little they care about their product which is why I've moved past the, the earlier stage materials and stuff. And I'm moving on to better and better materials every day. And this is my start. If you're going to be a serious artist, you need artist tools that are serious. Now here is the super duper base. Or yeah, this is a super base. They have a super duper base as well which is like the new one but uh yeah i don't know this is the one uh yeah this is the super duper i think but either way this is like the best thing to use when blending these pigments which are just looking at them absolutely amazing so again if you're interested in any of this stuff guys just a shout out culture hustle usa or if you're over in europe they have the uh england version the uk version whatever um and i went through the u.s version it was just amazing it got here faster than it ever would have otherwise now for the pigments now they say that the camera can't show the true brilliance of these and yeah i can see what they're talking about visually on screen it is kind of a robin's egg blue almost but in actuality the pigment is very sat i don't want to say saturated with color but it's got a very rich blue i mean i mean like a royal blue almost it's gorgeous it really is gorgeous and i am really looking forward to blending this then you got the pink this is the pinkest pink. And yeah, you're definitely not going to see how bright this is on the screen. But it is, if you really want to see, just look at it, look up YouTube and just go to the pinkest pink. And you'll see the videos and stuff. It's really amazing. Then we've got the yellowest yellow. And again, there's no way you could ever see on screen unless... I had one of those massively awesome cameras, you know. There's no way you could see the brilliance of this. I mean, I am really, really amazed at this. They were not wrong when they were talking about 
the vibrance of these colors. They were not wrong at all. And then lastly, you have my green. And the green, even on screen, looks completely different. On screen, it almost looks sapphire or something. You know, just really, or emerald, you know, just really nothing like what it is in person. I'll try and get it, if I can get the curtains closed enough. Yeah, it's still nothing is going to let me show just how brilliant this green is. The only way I can describe it even is if you were to go to the store and go down the toy aisle and pick the most brilliant spring green toy and blend that with the greenest slime color <laughs> you'd have about this. I mean, it's it's amazing. And I am looking forward to doing some crazy blending with it. Now the really, really cool part is that they're base colors. Pink, yellow, blue, and green. Which means once I've got the blending down, because it's going to have, it, there's a bit of a learning curve. I've never used the powdered pigments before. And the black 3.0 even is going to be an experiment at first. It's going to have to be. Just till I get used to them. And I'm really, really hoping that by the end of today, I, I've at least gotten the hang of using the black and the basis for the blending at the very least. Uh, it'll take a little bit more experimenting, a lot more experimenting to get the different color variations down, things like that. But I'm looking forward to making the brightest colors pop out of a blackest of canvases so wish me luck guys i was really excited for this and now i'm here with it and it's it's really time to have fun everybody so once i'm done and i have an example to show you i'll try and use my phone's camera it's it's better so yeah Hopefully I can get you some better real resolution on that, but I'll do the best I can. In the meantime, everybody, you guys have an awesome day. Create some art. Go to work. Do your best at your jobs. Do what you got to do. Just have a great day as best you can, everybody. Really, as best you can. And, you know, uh, to those I don't talk to as much as I should, you all know who you are. I am sorry. This has been all-consuming and, well, winter. <laughs> love you guys every one of you keep up the awesome everything you're doing being friends to each other and making it through this bowl we all have to struggle through it's been a rough ride but hopefully it'll get better hopefully i can bring you guys something really cool to look at that might just brighten your day a bit that's what i'm trying to do yeah. do good things guys